When I last installed Python on my MacBook Air M1, it was relatively straightforward and easy, and there's an earlier video on how to do this. Trying to do that on my Mac Mini M4 in December of 2024, I ran into a number of errors, and I wondered what caused these errors. So here in this video, we're going to show you how to do it the simplest way, which I now believe is to use Homebrew if you're running the Mac environment. Now, what caused the problems is that Apple has improved its security and it has the system integrity protection system that's very secure, but it also makes it a little difficult because of the default system Python directories and folders that it uses. Similarly, Homebrew had some parts it used to use that don't seem to work as well today. And so what you'll see in this video is how we've had to reset those parts. Additionally, permissions and file ownership on new Mac installations seem to be stricter using backslash USR instead of what we used before. Finally, Sequoia 15.1 also has a higher level of privacy and security. So summary is security protections, the M1 architecture, the path configuration and permissions issues. So this is how I went ahead and installed Python on my Mac mini M4. Let's get right into it. Since new Macs with Sequoia seem to lock down many files and folders, the first thing we'll do is we'll unlock them. And we'll be using this echo command so you can see what we're doing and then we'll execute the command. First, we'll check to see whether the .z profile is unlocked. And then we'll do an ls on it to see what the permissions are. And it looks like it's dash rw dash r dash dash r dash dash. Since we're not seeing the UCHG in the output, it should mean that this is not locked. So let's try and edit the Z profile. And we'll use the sudo command, nano users in the directory and the dot Z profile. And it'll ask for the password. So type the password in and it pops it open. And we can see that there's nothing in this file. So we'll go ahead and add homebrew to the path. And that command is right there. You can freeze the screen right here and copy that down. And what that does is it provides a path to homebrew. And then we need to press Control O to write out and then enter and then follow that with a Control X. And it says wrote four lines right there. And then the Control X gets us out. Now that we've changed the dot Z profile, we need to reload it. to activate the changes. And to do that, here's the command, source, users, slash back, Mac mingle, et cetera. And we need to do that each time we change the dot Z profile. Next, we need to test if homebrew is available. And to do that, we use this command, brew dash dash version, and we see that it's homebrew 4.4.14, so that's working. Now that Homebrew is working, it's time for us to install Python using Homebrew. And the command for that is brew install Python. And then we see the process kick off. This is the actual speed. And then it's done. We're back at the Mac Mingle prompt. So let's check the Python 3 version. And it says Python 3.9.6. Now we know we have Python 3.13.1, so something's wrong here. It looks like the path is not correctly configured. And this should not happen when you use Homebrew, um, but we'll go ahead and fix it. And to do that, let's open up .z profile with nano. And right here, let's add the path. And then let's uh, control O, enter and control X, and we're out of it. Now let's run Python 3 and check the version. And it's still 3.9.6. Oh, the changes had not been applied, so let's do that. We've got to use that source command to activate Z profile. Now, let's look at it again. Python 3 dash dash version. 
and there it is, Python 3.13.1. So Python is installed now. And now let's test Python by doing hello world in terminal and then in a script file. So let's open terminal and run Python 3. And those little carrots, the three red carrots, denote that Python is running. And let's do a print hello world. And there it is. Hello world has printed in the terminal. So we know Python's working. So next, let's try and create a script file that we can run. First, let's quit and clear the screen. And now let's open nano again, and we'll open a file called hello world.py. And in this file, let's enter print hello world. And then let's write it out using control O and enter, and it just wrote two lines, and then press control X to exit. And when we ls, we can see hello world.py is right there. And now to run that, after we clear the screen, let's go ahead and type Python 3 space hello underscore world dot py. And we see the hello world command and there it's working. And so that's how you do terminal based commands and script based commands. I hope that was helpful. In the next video, we'll look at installing Visual Studio Code and running Python from Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching.